Great music choice. I'm probably going to get copyright claimed, though. How's it going, YouTube lovers? This is the Evil Dragon Man. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm doing another trailer reaction. Today, I'm reacting to the launch trailer for Apex Legends Revelry, the next season of Apex Legends, which starts later this month. I am excited to see what this launch trailer is actually going to have in it, because we're not getting a new legend this season. Uh, we haven't had stories from the Outlands. There's been multiple sources claiming we're not getting a new legend. We just go straight to the launch trailer. We're only a week out, too, so we don't have time to like buffer other trailers, so it seems like it's definitely... No stories from the Outlands, no Meet the Legend trailer coming out. But there's going to be like some kind of party because it's the anniversary starting it off. Uh, World's Edge, I know, is supposed to be getting an update because it's been in the teasers that they put on social media. I'm just curious to see what this is going to entail. Uh, I know there's a huge class rework and stuff coming up, but I have no idea what the launch trailer could possibly show because usually it focuses on whoever the new legend is. But we don't have a new legend, so there's no one to focus on. So... I'm curious to see what this is going to be, especially because, like, the teaser thumbnail showed Bangalore, but then the thumbnail after it premiered showed Octane, so no idea which character is going to be the focus. Um, I just want to get right into this, because there's probably going to be a webpage to check out as well, so let's go ahead and jump right into this reaction. Alright, what have you got for us? Focus. There's Bangalore. Oh my gosh. Wait, is that a stuffed animal of the big, like, monster from- <laughs> Maggie's even there, but she has to have an escort. Oh, Team Deathmatch is confirmed! Let's go! Oh, there's Vantage just over there watching. Okay. Well, Catalyst, you're no longer the new legend. You're cannon fodder for the trailers. What the heck was that? Great music choice. I'm probably going to get copyright claimed, though. Oh, now, okay, that's cool. Oh, dang. Oh, that's the new, the new weapon! Oh, gosh. Lifeline went a little crazy there. Well, now, guess we don't make such a bad team after all. We'll see. <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh wait, that, wasn't that the algorithm right there? Like the crypto and his sister found? Oh my gosh. Apex Legends Reverie coming February 14th. Gameplay trailer on the 8th. Drop it and be legendary. That was a really fun trailer. I love the vibe of that so much. It didn't actually focus on any of the characters. It specifically, it just showed all of them in the games fighting each other in the new team deathmatch mode it teased a new weapon it teased the map update to world's edge it actually also teased some of the buffs and, me and mechanics that are going to be coming with the uh new class rework and things like that i that was a really really good trailer probably the best launch trailer we've had in a while oh my gosh i really want to get into this because there is so much going on i need to break down because again they teased a lot of the new features that are going to be coming in the new season Alright, let's go ahead and break this trailer down. Because like I said, lots going on here teasing everything. I like how it acted like she was just lining up a shot for the games, but nope, this is part of the whole carnival party theme that we've got going for this season. And again, I'm pretty sure that is a stuffed version of the giant lobster monster that they fought in the season 13 trailer. 
Okay, I love this. Like, Maggie is still allowed to go to the party, basically, but she has to have the armed escort there with her at all times because she's still a criminal. Also, I like the look of the Marvins. This is interesting. See the two simulacrum here uh, actually side by side with whatever party game this is. It's weird to see Revenant actually taking part in something, but currently it's just their interactions have mainly been Ash, like, saying Revenant that he's a huge disappointment to Simulacrum. I would love to see actual, like, character development interactions between these two. And now that was just uncalled for. Poor Lifeline. Oh, I just realized that this is the, um... Hold on one second. This is Big Maud right here. I just... Yeah, this is this is Rampart Shop, her town takeover on the map. That's actually really cool. I didn't realize that. I wonder if this will actually have any updates to it or not. Because that's really... That's, I didn't even realize that that's where they were. That was just some random ship that flew in. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I just realized it actually says the different classes on them here. Like, I see Skirmisher on Mirage. Like, one second. Right here it says Skirmisher, obviously Recon for Seer, and Support for Lifeline, Recon for Vantage, Skirmisher for Horizon, Support for Newcastle because he's going to be Support Legend now, Assault for Fuse. Wow, this trailer did a great job teasing what's coming in this season. So where is... Okay, so this is... Oh, wow. Okay, so this is on the uh, Lava Siphon. A World's Edge, and if you look, there's like giant balloons of Lifeline and Pathfinder. So it sounds like for the party theme, they're going to be decorating World's Edge for a party and put balloons and all kinds of colorful things up. And this also here confirms that Deathmatch is going to, the new mode that's coming, is going to be 6v6. Because we can see Mirage, Seer, Maggie, Lifeline, Bangalore, and Vantage on one team, and the Newcastle, Catalyst, Horizon, Octave, Fuse, and Pathfinder on the other team. I love the balloons that look like the Apex logo, too. Oh, <laughs> yeah, and again, once, once it's no longer your trailer, you're no longer safe. Now, that was weird. Like, that almost seemed like a new finisher, but I don't know if they'd be adding new finishers, maybe? That'd be interesting, because, again, this, this Mirage thing here where he kind of has decoy jump into him. Again, probably just for show in the trailer, but it is weird that they make it look like a finisher. Now this right here, so Vantage is scanning the beacon, which she knows something she was able to do before, because she's a recon legend, but it shows that right here, instead of revealing the ring, it pings where the enemies are, because that is part of what's changing, is the defensive characters, or I think they might be called Control now in the new class rework, are going to be able to scan beacons to get the ring like recons used to do, but recons will be able to scan the beacon, and they'll get enemy locations, kind of like Crypto's map room on King's Canyon. And lots of death. And <laughs> Lifeline runs out of ammo and has to find something else. The, if this is still deathmatch, this makes me think that we won't have infinite ammo in that mode, as opposed to something like Gun Run, which would be interesting. Yeah, this right here, this is clearly Fragment. We see a Lifeline and Pathfinder balloons again. Now, everything is still broken. I can't tell if, like, this big seam in the middle of Fragment is fixed or not. I'd like it if it was, but I, I can't tell, because everything's still broken. So it's probably not fixed. Oh, there's a Mirage Balloon back there. And this is the new weapon. It's the Nemesis. It's a new energy weapon. I think it's supposed to be Burst. I'm so excited to finally get a new weapon. It's been over a year since we've had the car added to the game. <laughs> then Maggie just headbutts the drone because of course she does. Ah, this right here. That is, I'm pretty sure this is the same algorithm that uh, Crypto and his sister Mila discovered that caused all their lives to go downhill where Mila was kidnapped and Crypto was framed for her murder. So hopefully we'll get more advancement with this plot because last we had Watson found Mila but uh, Mila doesn't want her to tell Crypto which is not going to go over well. And that, and I love, again, this really almost, 
the way that they're framing this is they're framing it like a new beginning for the game. Like, kind of like a, a chapter two, kind of like Fortnite did. Because the, even the in-game teaser for this trailer when it was coming out said, watch the, for the next chapter of Apex Legends, the new era of Apex Legends. So, I'm excited to see... It seems like they're totally focusing on quality of life and trying to revitalize the game and make it really interesting again. So, I'm excited for this. Again, we're getting the anniversary right off the bat. Sounds like it's going to be Heirloom Shards' as a reward again, which it should have been last year as well. And I'm excited to see what buffs and nerfs are going to come to the different Legends. Again, we've already heard some of them being leaked, but those patch notes are going to be really fun. Alright, now there's most definitely a page down below for the new season. I'm going to go check that out before I wrap up this video. There it is, Apex Legends Revelry. Yeah, look at that, that's like a new logo for the games and everything that shows all the characters. So I'm guessing this is going to be what it looks... Again, the red color scheme, this new artwork here, it really does feel like they're trying to give it, like, Apex Legends Chapter 2, like I said. It really feels like that. That's exciting. Oh, there's a developer diary here? I'll have to check that out. But drop it and beat Legendary on February 14th, Apex Legends Revelry. Team Deathmatch. Get ready and drop it and start the party in Team Deathmatch. Doesn't look like there's too much information yet. We'll probably get that closer. Remastered Legend Classes, there it is. 23 Legends, 5 Classes, because they're adding a new one and shuffling characters around. Find your ultimate playstyle with the help of new Legend Classes. New Weapon, the Nemesis. Meet the Nemesis, a new Energy Class Assault Rifle, guaranteed to ruin the day of at least one Legend next match. Yeah, whether it's going to be ruin the day because it misses all the shots or ruin the day because it lasers. Login Rewards, celebrate another year of Apex Games with unlockable rewards when you log in during the first two weeks of Revelry. Yeah. So it looks like you'll be able to unlock Crypto and Ash for free if you don't have them already. Orientation matches. New to the Outlands, try your orientation match system meant to give new players a chance to get their buried and learn the core mechanics. Oh! Okay, that's interesting. So is it putting them against other new players, or is it putting them against bots so they can learn the mechanics? Very interesting to hear more about that. It won't apply to me, you know, because I've been playing for a bit now, but... Oh, that's a cool Battle Pass logo. I really, again, the red color scheme, it feels brand new. Reverly Battle Pass, battle through daily and weekly challenges to earn rewards like legendary skins, reactive weapon skins, and more. And then there's our new trailer. I am excited for this season. If they are if they can pull off, like, what they're promising here, this is going to be really great. Uh, let's check this out. What is the developer diary? Oh. Game director and design director give a sneak preview of the next season. Ooh, they actually talk about the classes and everything here. We're excited to share some of the things that will be debuting in Apex Legends with Revelry, Revelry, why is that hard to say, launches on February 14th. Over the last four years, we've seen millions of players join the Apex Games, and we appreciate all the support and amazing moments the players have given us. This year, we're going to shake things up and reset the playing field, making Apex Legends more accessible than ever, whether you're coming back or playing Apex for the first time. There's something for everyone. Nothing is safe, and there are going to be some pretty significant changes we've been working on for a while. I can already see that says rotating mode playlist on the bottom. I'm looking forward to reading that. Remastered Legend Classes. We've introduced a new legend every season this year. We want to take a break from releasing a new legend. You'll see new legends in the future, but for now, we just wanted to see how the core legends could evolve the ways players have been using them. This season, we'll be adjusting all legends and introducing a rework to our class system that we're calling Remastered Legend Classes. Yep, here are the classes. Assault, Recon, the new Skirmisher, Control, which used to be Defense, and Support. Each class will have some kind of meaningful, unique perk, whether that be the way the legend can interact with new loot bins or new ways to revive or new ways to revive teammates interesting we also introduced to be buff and ner buffs and nerfs across several legends including lifeline seer and wraith well seer we knew was getting nerfed we'll share full details on legend changes when we release the patch notes closer to the launch yeah it'll probably be the day before when they tell us that all right here we go Team Deathmatch, a rotating mode playlist, and a new weapon. First, we want to talk about Arenas. At its core, Apex Legends is a battle royale, and the team wants to help players master the core game mode. At its current state, Arenas is not meeting our goals. But we're excited to announce that at the launch of Revelry, we'll be, we'll be debuting Team Deathmatch to the Apex Games. Available for the first three weeks of the season. Okay, so it is an LTM. TDM has been our community's most requested mode. We're excited to be delivering this at launch. We've also heard from our players that they want permanent mode... They want a permanent modes play, so we're thrilled to announce in early March we will be releasing Mixtape. Featuring a rotation of TDM, Gunrun, and Control. Oh, let's go! 
We see mixtape as a great way for players to test out a new legend, practice their skills, and just experience that signature Apex Legends gameplay in real combat situations with little downtime between fights. This is exactly what people want. So we got a mixtape playlist that'll rotate the three best LTMs that they've given us over the recent years. Oh, I'm so excited for this. It's been a while since we've released a new weapon, and that wait will be over when Revelry launches with a new energy weapon, the Nemesis. We're hoping to see this potentially unseat favorite standbys like the 301 and Flatline. Interesting. Yeah, because the Flatline is my favorite gun. So if they think that, well, if they hope people are going to be dropping the 301 or Flatline for this, I'm excited to see what it's going to have. But as I said, Arenas is not meeting our goals. So, huh. That makes it sound like, so it does seem like Arenas is getting vaulted, which is interesting, considering there's a, there's been a whole rank system, and all those maps that have been really cool. I hope they reuse the maps. But, so it sounds like for the first three, so we're not going to have Arenas anymore, and for the first three weeks, instead of the mixtape, we're just going to have Team Deathmatch that people can play the new mode. And then at, then at the uh, start of March, after those three weeks, we're going to have mixtape replace the purely TDM playlist, and then we're going to have Deathmatch, Gun Run, and Control rotate out. I'm all for that. That sounds awesome. Arenas was fun when it started. Lifeline is my Arenas main. But it, I just haven't been playing, like, at all, except for the private matches that we have. I wonder if Arenas will ever come back in the future, like, if it'll be added to the mixtape or something like that. Because there's so much that they made just for Arenas, it seems a shame just to completely scrap it. 2023 is the time to join the Apex Games. If you're a new player, this year's a great time to start. We're overhauling everything for first-time player experience. We're making improvements to the fire and rage, adding a dummy strafing and stats tracking specifically for our new players. We'll be adding bots to our matches so players can get their feet under them in a new orientation match system. Oh, so there are going to be bots in matches. So if you say that guy's a bot, it might actually be a bot. <laughs> Our goal with orientation matches is to create a lower pressure environment where new players can get their bearings, learn the core mechanics, and have a little more space to breathe while they learn how to play. New players can play solo or bring along friends to play a handful of orientation matches primarily against bots for being put into normal matchmaking queues. That answers my question right there. Anniversary Collection Event the month is also the fourth, fourth anniversary of Apex Legends that we're celebrating with the Anniversary Collection event, featuring all new community content reward track. All the community stuff was so good last year. And lots of celebrations happening in the game, including logger rewards during the first two weeks of the season. With week one featuring crypto and, and a new and a one crypto thematic pack, I will take the thematic pack. Please give me something good. Um, and with week two unlocking ass, Ash, with week two unlocking Ash plus one Ash thematic pack for all players that log in. Also, every map in the rotation will have special decorations and will have the return of a fan favorite that will reveal closer to launch. What do you mean reveal of a fan favorite? Ooh, that, that gets me excited. I have no idea what that means. Also, like, so every map in rotation will have special decorations, so maybe those balloons are going to be on every map that's in rotation. Interesting. We are so excited about this year of Apex Legends and we want to take a moment to thank all the players and creators that have supported us over the last four years. We make this stuff for you and we can't wait to try to surprise you again when Revelry launches on February 14th. Oh my gosh. This season sounds like they really have been hearing our cries of Apex is getting repetitive and stale and they're trying to shake things up. Wait, come on. Is this video like him just... No, this... Oh, it's actually the Dev Diary. Oh, interesting. I'll have to watch that later. But I am very excited about this season. This looks like it's going to be fun. Oh my goodness. I like how... I was thinking, what legend are they going to put on the, on the loading screen when you pull up Easy Annie Cheat? It's probably going to be this image that shows everyone with Duardo as our central villain in the middle. It doesn't look like there's anything else on here. The, the Learn More button down here is just talking about the login rewards themselves, which we understand how those work. I'm looking forward to see the Nemesis in action. That gameplay trailer is going to be so much fun to watch. We'll get a really good look at what uh, everything on World's Edge is going to look like, probably. The thing is, actually, though, they didn't tease an update for World's Edge. That's interesting. I would think there's going to be an update to World's Edge, but they didn't tease anything. Huh. I wonder what's going to happen there. But yeah, Team Deathmatch, like, I'm so glad they're finally adding that. And the fact that it's going to be rotating that gun run and control is exactly what players have been wanting i am really excited to play this season because this season's just been so long catalyst is not a great legend and i like broken moon but they put it so long in the first split that everyone got burnt out uh it says returning fan favorite though 
Are they bringing back OG Kings Canyon? I'm kidding. If it's interesting, they, they mentioned it right after maps that they say returning fan favorite. So it's going to be like OG Kings Canyon or something? Or I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. So there you have it. That was my reaction to the launch trailer for Apex Legends Revelry starting on February 14th. I will be live streaming the Sunday after that, which is, I don't remember what day that is, the 19th. On the 19th, I'm going to be live streaming the new season, checking out, obviously, Team Deathmatch and the, some of the new buffs and nerfs and all those changes and whatever changes they do to the map, even though it's weird they didn't tease any here because I would assume that they're changing the map, but who knows? Maybe, maybe they're not. Maybe they're focusing on just some stuff but i'm excited for this season it again it feels like apex legends 2.0 they're really trying to refresh everything and listen to community feedback i appreciate that i'm sure a lot of people will too but then of course we're still going to have recolor collection events which will remind everyone how much they don't like ea <laughs> it'll go right back to that but anyway that's gonna do it for this video hope you all enjoyed it please drop a like and a comment down below if you did and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you all on the next one Bye guys! Bye.